So finally, we tried out Paranoid Android Custom ROM on our device, officially available for my device, which is Mi 11X. It might be officially available for your device too, like Nothing Phone 1, and there are many more devices which officially supports this one. So if a device officially support this thing, it's very good. Go and try it out. This is based on Android 13. For some devices, it might be available as the stable version. For some devices, it might be beta version, or for some, even it might be alpha stage, but you can try it out and you can check it out if it is there for you. Even though, even if your device has not a stable version, if it is beta stage, this could still be one of the most stable custom rooms out there. It is only one of the few custom rooms which is based on CAF. It's not based on AOSP. If you talk about the default launcher, what, what is the default launcher? This is Paranoid Launcher or maybe AOSP A Launcher, whatever you want to consider it. It is having all the developer options so where you can unlock some of the features which are not enabled by default. And these options are super good. It's not actually Launcher 3. It is not even a Pixel Launcher. So this is good. Some features are super good at a glance which you can enable or disable from here which is very good thing some of the things which are not good i will talk about that later on here if you move on to the quick settings panel the quick settings panel as expectedly is in light ui so if you use a light mode you will see the light quick settings panel and one more thing is if you try to add any toggle into the quick settings panel you don't need to click one thing you will not be able to use by one click i like in some customers it has it has the option but in paranoid android what you need to do is you need to hold and then drag and drop to rearrange these tiles so this is one of the things for me i think so this might be a negative point but of course it's not a major thing if i move on to the wallpapers and style options what you will be able to see is some system icon pack options are there some of the previous icon pack like sam victor etc are already present but the newer ones like pui which is considered as pavlova ui or even that the new options like i'm not sure which was that that but that was archers and both of those icon packs are just not here this is what we have if i move on to the system fonts options what we have is urbanist which i'm using right now and to be very honest i definitely love this font i will try to get this font magis module or maybe the font file to import it in other custom room the fonts are actually looking super good other fonts of course as expected the same by the way if you have if you hadn't used this custom room ever then you don't know about this abstract abstract basically this is a wallpaper app which is pre-installed you have the official pa paranoid android wallpapers you can see we have 31 pre-installed wallpapers the app requires internet access these wallpapers are not pre-installed by the way and this app is pre-installed you have some official wallpapers from paranoid and one of my favorite wallpaper which is also included when i was using paranoid android in the previous times which this is not the one let me show you which wallpaper i was talking about here it is okay here it is this is one of my favorite wallpapers exactly i i used this wallpaper a lot of time ago when i used paranoid android for the first time then i used this wallpaper this looks very very nice as far as i know i tried paranoid android when i was using android 11 this looks good including these wallpapers we have some other wallpapers options like blend wallpapers if you like one of these you can apply it on your device and we also have some official oneplus wallpapers yes official oneplus wallpapers are included from oxygen os 13 from oneplus nord or some other devices if i take a look at the settings ui is there something different there is nothing different as expectedly it's almost same like the stock android which is not having any features which is which is not unlocking any features for you but some of the useful things in your daily drivers are already present like if you need face unlock on advice it's there but as expectedly there is no app lock even in the default launcher so if you are one of the users who is considering about app locker it's not there keep this thing in your mind here you can see the options are present like face unlock fingerprint we have the option to use the face or fingerprint for unlock your phone and you can see verify that's you in app which means app locker if that app supports that it's not inbuilt and if i move on to the gestures what i found is a 
screen of their shares which is customizable for example double tap to wake which might be available in your device too in your custom room too but you can customize this thing for example if i try to change this double tap action which is by default as a wake device so if i try to enable like open camera option which is present at the second last if i try to use this option so whenever i double tap you can see the camera is opening so these gestures are super good you can try it out if you want to this is all about today's short and simple video this is paranoid android and as i just mentioned if it is officially available for your device link is available in the description thanks for watching goodbye